Hey there, welcome back to my channel. So, have you felt that chill in the air? Yep, Halloween's creeping up, isn't it? I was thinking, why not get into something a tad spooky today? You ever wonder if you're really the only one chilling on your couch? No need to binge watch horror movies to get the goosebumps. Just think about zooming in super close between those sofa fibers and right under the cushions. What if that chip crumb from last week isn't just a crumb? Getting the creeps yet? Well, stick around, cause we're gonna take a deep dive with my trusty microscope. To give you a real sense of what I'm talking about, I went ahead and vacuumed the seating areas of my couch and those comfy cushions we all love. What you're seeing right here in the video? These are the samples I collected, all neatly presented in a Petri dish. And yeah, if you're spotting a ton of hairs, well, you get the idea. I then prepped these samples onto a slide, and honestly, what I found, you might not even want to know. And there we have it, dust mites. Yep, the more I gaze at these little critters through the microscope, the more I cringe at the thought of them just hanging out, waiting for me every time I plop down on the couch. But you know what? There's a tiny silver lining, quite literally. They're so minuscule you'd hardly spot them with the naked eye, being tinier than a grain of sand. Yet, these teeny tiny creatures have a complex body structure. With eight legs, they're officially part of the arachnid family. Somehow, knowing they're related to spiders doesn't make them any more endearing to me. Now, if you zoom in even further, and I mean, get real close, you'll notice these fingerprint-like patterns on their back. Cool and creepy at the same time, right? Believe it or not, these patterns assist them in exchanging gases with the atmosphere. Who knew these little guys had such intricate designs up their sleeves? Or should I say, on their backs? Ever wonder why, of all places, these dust mites chose to set up camp on your couch? Why not just, I don't know, somewhere outdoors? Somewhere far, far away from you? Well, here's the slightly icky truth. They're basically dining on you, not in a vampire way, but they thrive on those dead skin flakes you shed daily, most of which you don't even notice. Given that your couch is probably one of your top chill spots, it naturally becomes a buffet for these mites. Let me throw some numbers your way. You shed about 0.053 ounces of skin flakes every day. Doesn't sound like much, right? But hold on to your socks, because that's enough to feed around a whopping 1 million dust mites. Suddenly, those skin flakes don't seem so insignificant. But wait, there's more. Mites, you see, have a bit of a, let's call it a humidity craving. Sitting on your couch, even if you're deep into a winter binge watching session, you're still sweating a bit. This ups the moisture content in your sofa, making it a mite's paradise. And let's not forget the cozy warmth your couch offers. It's like a five-star resort for these mites, with an array of hiding spots within its folds and crevices. When you think about it, your sofa pretty much rolls out the red carpet for them. It's offering food, thanks to your skin flakes, the right amount of moisture, warmth, and a safe haven. Talk about hospitality. Here's another fun fact, and by fun, I mean utterly terrifying. Given the right conditions, these little terrors can reproduce at lightning speed. In other words, Every three weeks, their numbers can double. Sleep tight with that thought. All right, if you thought the creepiness ended at just the idea of these arachnids lounging around on your couch, well, buckle up. These eight-legged squatters are more than just an icky presence. They might be causing you some genuine health woes. Ever felt like you've been nursing an eternal cold? You know, that incessant sneezing, a perpetually stuffed nose, itchy eyes, maybe even watery ones? It might not be the regular culprits like viruses, 
or bacteria giving you grief. Nope, it could very well be an allergic reaction to these unwelcome roommates. But brace yourself, it's not even the mites per se that you're reacting to. It's worse, they're droppings. These particles are so microscopically tiny that they easily get airborne, spreading around. So, every time you take a breath, you might be inhaling a bit of mite waste. Yuck! If your body isn't too pleased with this, it will let you know with those cold-like symptoms. Now, you might be wondering if there's a way to evict these freeloaders from your comfy space. Good news! You can put up a fight. Regularly vacuuming your couch and washing cushion covers at high temperatures can substantially cut down on the mite population. But here's the not-so-sweet part. Entirely getting rid of these mites is, well, nearly an impossible task. So, maybe it's best we all come to terms with the fact that our couches, as it turns out, will always be a bit of a community space. Sharing is caring, right? And with that, we've come to the end of today's microscopic journey. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, take care and remember, it's a wild, tiny world out there. <laughs>